Rest in peace, Spark Portfolios. We shall rebuild. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make something like this completely for free using Infinity Free, WordPress, and a site builder called Elementor. If you're after something a bit more fancy, you can contact me for a custom build in the description. Otherwise, let's get to it. So to get started, I just Google Infinity Free, click the second link here. I'll also put a link to this in the description. Into your details, tick this thing and create new profile. Then it will ask you to verify your email. The link in the email will send you to this accounts page. So you click create account. Choose what you want your domain extension to be. I choose EPC, just looks the coolest. Subdomain, what you want your website to say. And check availability. When it's available, you'll get given this page. So just enter your password and create account. So then your account's created. Just note that it can take up to 72 hours for the domain to be visible online. Go to open your control panel. Approve. So from your control panel, you scroll down the bottom to software, Softaculous apps installer. You'll get given this page and just install WordPress. So from here, before you install, set an admin username and a password. You can change these if you like, but it's not important. You can just skip all this stuff. Um, don't choose a theme or anything. Just click install down here. So now WordPress is installed. Um, this is where your website will be. You can try it now, but sometimes, it, as I said before, it can take 72 hours for the um, domain to propagate. Um, if you click it, it, it would look something like this. It is just pretty much a default uh, WordPress installation. There's nothing on there really. And then this is the URL where you log into the back end of your website so to add your content and pages and stuff. You should notice as well that it's just your normal website URL, but with a slash wp-admin at the end. WP for WordPress, wp-admin. For some reason, when you click it on here, it doesn't lead to this link. It'll open this weird... Um, control panel thing so just copy just copy this text and paste it into the uh, into Chrome or whatever and then this is the page that you should see again if you don't see this it can take up to 72 hours for your domain to come online uh, if you do see it just enter your uh, username and password that you made on the WordPress install screen log in then you'll get this page so from here we want to install Elementor so you go to plugins, add new, and then search Elementor and install now. If this install doesn't work this way, you'll have to go to Google, search Elementor plugin download. When you click this, it'll give you a download thing here. Just click that and it will download a zip file. So you take this zip file and click this upload plugin and upload it to here and that will install Elementor for you and then from this page again you need to click activate once it's installed and once you're activated um, Elementor is going to redirect you to this page you can just skip all of these things because these settings are changeable later but it's not important at the moment and then we'll go from edit with a blank canvas so then you should get sent to a page like this if you don't get sent here to get back to the, your page Go to this URL again, and then from the WordPress dashboard, go Pages, and then which page you want, and edit with Elementor. So from here, we're going to aim to build something pretty much exactly like this. It'll be a little showcase of your videos. You can click to play them. Um, if you want to save yourself like 20-30 minutes, I've got this completed template on Gumroad for a dollar. I'll put the link in the description and it'll work on all devices. Um, all you have to do is just import it with a few clicks in Elementor and then um, replace your content, change the videos, change the titles, etc. So to start the build, uh, for an example, I'll just show the old uh, portfolio. We're going to try to do something like this, like four, four columns with the video. So first thing we want to make, because the width of the page is only this wide, we want to make it full screen. So we go down to settings here and change it to full width. Then from there we'll go plus and then we want four columns. 
so choose the fourth thing here. These are our four columns here. Then click back on this. This gives us a list of all the widgets that we can add. Um, so Pro, you have to pay for these. So we'll, we'll just stick to these ones for this tutorial. Uh, so because we want four videos, we'll start with the video. So you can either choose source external or what we'll do, we'll do self-hosting. So you click here to upload your video. Select files and then just choose a video to upload. Let's go this one. Once it's done, you'll be able to click this insert media down the bottom here. Insert. And then you'll see that the ratio will be wrong. So to change that, go to style and change it to 9 by 16. So another thing we want to do, we want to get one column to be perfect because then we can duplicate this whole column over to the other ones. So we want to get the settings for this one video to be exactly what we want. So I would suggest, well, this is what I do anyway. I loop it and I mute it. And also I will remove this so that, but then later I will add an image overlay. So it'll be something like this. We have to upload the image that will be here instead. And then it shows the play button so they know to click it. But for now, I'll just keep this on. Um, what else do I change? You can set a poster that is a, a similar to the image overlay. It's just shows an image above before it um, before it's loaded. Uh, also, like the there is a slight curved edge that looks makes it look pretty nice. So you can change that in advanced border and border radius. So you can just play with what you like, five or ten. I uh, will stay five. So then under this video, we'll add some text. Let's just drag the heading under here. Uh, let's just, it'll be the name of the filter. So we'll go to the style to change the fonts and stuff. I like poppins. But yeah, you guys can choose whatever you want. Of course. And I like uppercase. Change the size. Color, we just, just keep it standard of black. And after after you're happy with what your title looks like, it's probably best to save it as a um, as a global font. So we just call this filter title. This way it'll be easier. Next time you have to use the same font, you can just type it and then you'll be able to select it in this part. It'll be down here. So let's add some more text under here. Just go like that. Change the font again. Back to Poppins. This size a bit smaller. Keep it normal. This is just maybe some stuff about the filter, you know, like maybe 50 million impressions. Change the color to black as well. And yeah, you can pretty much add anything you wanted here. You could duplicate that text and do something else. Uh, first prize winner. Um, what else? You could add a button like this. If you want to maybe have a link for people to click it to try the filter if you want. Um, and then all the typography and stuff will be in here as well. So you could go same as that. Change the size a bit. When you click it, content will change here the text. Right, it. You could change the button color. So let's just keep everything black for now. Text looks a bit uh, close together, so letter spacing. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, sorry. It's, well, if you want to add a link to this, it's just in this content area. You just paste your link here. So then, because you want a perfect uh, one column, you want to check, 
click responsive mode and we want to make sure it looks good on tablet and on mobile as well so click the tablet so maybe you think the text is too big here just click it and now every setting you change will be only for the tablet so we'll make this, this font a little bit smaller and I think that's okay for the tablet uh, maybe you want to uh, for example you want to center the text on tablet just click each one and do center um, yes it's really up to you what you think looks good and then mobile same thing um, I prefer to have two columns on mobile so you click this little two thing that means the column and change the width to 50% yeah just change change the font how you like so we get that one perfect column you know so then when we come back to this desktop we can just click the column thing again and duplicate four times don't worry if it looks weird for now just duplicate it so we have four then delete these um, empty ones and voila you have your four column like like before just like the old days so tablet it will all come up and you have four there so if we come back to desktop if you want to duplicate this whole row just right click this blue thing up here and duplicate and you have the row underneath um, also if you want to increase this gap you can click either one let's click the top one and unlink these margins and change the margin bottom to let's say 50 and there adds this little gap down here so from here we'll try to build this little top part that has the name and some links and a little bit of text um, first we'll get rid of this default header and footer um, to do that you can just change the on settings on the bottom page layout to elementor canvas we're only doing this as well because we're just wanting a one page website if you're wanting to make more pages you probably can't um, can't use that because you want to have your navigation menu at the top and I think that will hide it then from here we'll add a, another section at the top let's go half and half this part we'll add another heading then we'll use our style that we had from before filter title put my name here just change it to black or black anything duplicate this Maybe duplicate it again. I'll change this text to paragraph though. Okay, so then from here we'll um, add a intersection underneath here to hold the icons and stuff. We'll make it four columns. Then in here we will add an icon. Change it to black as well. Um, and then I'll just duplicate this text to put in here. Change to my handle. So you can click back on the icon and you can change the size. I'll try to set it to similar size as the text. And then drag this column size so they're closer. I'll duplicate this icon. Also, it looks kind of weird that it's at the top, so we'll click this top section and add some margin, top and bottom. Let's say 50 again. A bit more, let's go 80. As well, I can see that this uh, this text is a little bit higher than the 
uh, icon so we can click on this pencil advanced margin and link it and just change the top value a little bit to let's say three pixels and we do the same for this one and link it one two three and if you want to make these uh, text and icons the links so let's try icon we can just go to content and add your link here uh, if it's the text click the pencil and content as well when the link is there and like before we have to check uh, if it looks good on other devices on mobile and tablet so let's see tablet looks sort of weird it's sort of squashed to the side so i'll make this column 100 percent um center these things and then uh, let's spread these about 25 each so click each column 25 25 25 so it looks a lot cleaner than before um, we'll go into mobile now so that looks pretty weird so we'll change this to let's try 50 for each one So that's the basic um, portfolio base done. From there, it's just a matter of updating your content, updating all this text down here, um, adding the links to the buttons if you want to have buttons for trying, um, changing the videos. You just click the video, choose the file um, as well. It's just yeah, just personalize it. Change your font colors. You can change your fonts, font sizes. Then when you're all ready, click publish. You can uh, you can either go have a look here to see what it will look like, or to because at the moment it won't be your home page. So then we have to go back here to exit and back to the dashboard here and in settings and reading and this your home page displays and change it to a static page and select your page. Save the changes and then click this my blog this is your website. So this is the finished template again to show you a more finished version with some other sections involved. It also shows what it looks like when you add the place images to hide the loading of the videos. If you're wanting to add other sections, sort of like this and sort of like this bottom one here, I'll show you how to do it with Elementor. So from inside the editing of your page, if you click this little add template thing, from here you can see they have a bunch of like either full pages ready or blocks will just be like little sections of the page. So you could search for example for the contact area and the ones that don't say pro will be free to use. And then also when you click it to insert it, it's going to ask you to uh, make an Elementor account. So just go in and make the free account and then you have access to all of them, which is pretty cool. And because you have WordPress and Elementor installed, they are so widely used, it's just there's so many um, tutorials available online. You can pretty much build a whole website with this. So as well, you may want to change this title thing up here that you can see. ART slash my WordPress blog and this little icon. So to do that, you come back to Elementor. Uh, click these three lines up here, site settings and then site identity and this is the the two pieces of text that you see up here um, site fav icon will be this uh, logo here so it says 512 but by 512 but i would recommend making it look good for maybe like 32 by 32 or 16 by 16. Et voila so yeah hopefully you've ended up with a basic portfolio that you can use and maybe even a bit of basic insight into website building so until next time peace